Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss about conditional or decision-making statement in PLSQL. So let's start. Decision-making statement are those statements which are in charge of executing a statement out of multiple given statement based on some condition. So the condition will return either true or false. Based on what condition returns, the associated statement is executed. For example, if someone says, if I get 40 marks, I will pass the exam, else I will fail. In this case, condition is getting 40 marks. If it is true, then the person will pass, else he or she will fail. So, this can be logically implemented in PLSQL block using decision-making statements. The decision-making statement in PLSQL are of two types, if-else statement and case statement. So, let's see them all one by one with examples. First, we have if statement. The if statement or the if then statement can be used when there is only one single condition to be tested. So, if the result of the condition is true, then certain specified action will be performed. Otherwise, if it is false, then no action is taken and the control of program will just move out of the if code block. Now that we know what is the purpose of the if statement and its syntax, let's see an example. So let's write program to find the greatest number among two given numbers. Here I am declaring variable a and b. And now I am assigning value 10 to variable a and 50 to b. And in begin section we will write if then statement. So if b is greater than a will display output. So if you don't know how to write code in PLSQL block and if you don't know its different section then watch my PLSQL block video first. I have added the video link in the upper right corner of your screen. So here we got the result 50 is greater than 10. Next is uh, if then else statement. So using this statement group we can specify two statements or two set of statements depend on a condition such that when the condition is true then one set of statements is executed and if the condition is false then the other set of statements is executed. Now that we know what is the purpose of the if then else statement and its syntax, so let's write a program to find whether a given number is uh, even or odd. Here I am declaring variable x in the declare section and I am assigning value 5 to variable x. So in the if statement we will write condition if mod x comma 2 is equal to 0. Here mod function is used which will return the remainder after dividing the value of x by 2. Which means if we calculate a mod of 5 comma 2 then we will get output 1. Here we are checking if mod x comma 2 is equal to 0 then we will display number is even. If mod x comma 2 is not equal to 0 then we will display odd. So here value of mod 5 comma 2 is 1. So 1 is not equal to 0 then will display 5 is odd number. Next is if then else if else statement. It is used to check multiple conditions. So sometimes it is required to test more than one condition. In that case if then else statement cannot be used. For this purpose if then else if else statement is suitable in which all the conditions are tested one by one and whichever condition is found to be true that block of code is executed and if all the conditions result in false then the else part is executed. In this syntax it can be seen firstly condition 1 is checked if it is true then the statement following it are executed and then controls moves out of the complete if block but if the condition is false then the control checks condition 2 and repeat the same process. If all the conditions fail then the else part is executed. As you can see in the syntax we can have multiple else if statements with as many condition as we want. So let's see a code example to understand the concept better. Let's write the program to find whether two given numbers are equal and if they are not equal then which one is greater. So here I am declaring two variables a and b and I am assigning value 5 to variable a and 10 to b. And in begin section I am writing a is greater than b. So if this condition is true then we will display a is greater than b. So here 5 is not greater than 10 so this statement is false and we will write another statement. So we will write another condition in else if. So here I am writing b is greater than a. 
so if this condition is true uh, then will display b is greater than a here 10 is greater than 5 so this statement is true so we'll display output as b is greater than a but suppose if both value of a and b is same for example consider value of a is 5 and value of b is also 5 then both these statements will be false so for this we'll write another statement in else so if both the condition is false then we'll display both a and b are equal so let's execute this program here we got output b is greater than a next is a case statement if we try to describe the case statement in one line then we can say means one out of many it is the decision making statement that select only one option out of multiple available options it uses a selector for this purpose this selector can be a variable function or procedure that returns some value and on the basis of the result one of the case statements is executed if all the cases fail then the else case is executed so let's take an example to see case statement in action so here i am declaring two variables a and b and so i have not assigned any value to a and b now in begin section i have assigned ampersand a to variable a which means we'll take value from user whenever uh, we'll run the program and i'm assigning mod function in variable b so mod function will return the remainder after dividing the value of a by 2 and in case statement here i'm passing value of b the remainder will be either 0 or 1 based on that the selected case will be executed so if value of b is 0 then 0 statement will be executed and if value of b is 1 then 1 statement will be executed let's run the program here i have to enter value so i have uh, entered number 6 which is even number and uh, we also got output that it is even number but here it is also showing old value of number a because by default in sql plus set verify on command is running so setting set verify on forces sql developer to display the text of a command after it replaces substitution variable with values so if we turn it off we'll get only updated values not the previous value so let's try to use set verify off command and again run the same program so here we can see we got updated value so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos